What's up everybody, this is Browncoat67 coming at you today from Minecraft and I'm going to show you how to create a waypoint system, uh, also known as a teleport or fast travel system in Minecraft with command blocks, but it's going to be more than just that. I'm going to show you a few other things involving the teleport command. Alright, so first things first, you're going to need to get a set of coordinates for this to work. Uh, you'll see right now I'm running Java Edition, uh, and I have a compass at the top that actually shows my coordinates. This is an RPG mod, and I'll post the link for that down in the description below. If you're in Bedrock Edition, you're going to want to go into your settings and then turn on your coordinates. In Java Edition, if you don't want to use a mod, um, all you have to press is F3. You'll see a whole bunch of information that pops up, and you'll see right around the uh, mid left side of the screen, you'll see X, Y, Z, and then three numbers. Those are your coordinates. You only need to grab the uh, whole number, the integer. Don't grab any of the, uh, the decimals there. So the fast travel system is actually only one command block, and it works like this. So this is an example that I built here, just something quick here in this village, and I'm going to go press it and it took me over here that is where I came from right there uh, I believe that the waypoint is right where my cursor is right now uh, so it traveled us a, a good distance very very quickly and again we're right back that is where we just were it's instant and it only takes one command block and I'll show you how to do it but it can be used for more than just traveling long distances. It can also be used to travel up and down. Combine it with a piston door and you can actually create realistic elevators like in my spy base build. I'll put the link in the description below. So as you can see these uh, teleportation systems are really just one command block like I said with a button. Uh, now when we look inside uh, the command for what we're using it here for is the same for both Java and Bedrock Edition. Uh, if you end up getting more detailed with your commands, they are different. But for what we're using them for right here, it'll be the same. So getting inside of this command block here, you'll see slash TP at P, which means teleport the closest player to this command block's position, and you'll see a set of coordinates. That's why I told you earlier that you're going to need to learn uh, the coordinates that you need, whether that be through turning the coordinates on in your settings for Bedrock Edition, uh, using F2 in Java, or getting a mod like the RPG mod which displays your coordinates for Java. Something like this would be very useful for like an open world map uh, with city or build areas that are separated by distances, or adventure maps where you want to introduce a fast travel element to help control your story. Heck, I put them in my kids' levels and they love them. They just use them to go like down to the bottom of their mine or up to a sky build or something like that. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. This is Browncoat67. If you liked this video, you better press that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell. That way you get a notification when my next awesome video is out. Alright, I'm going to go play with this cat that you see behind me now. I will catch you next time. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty.